and we can clearly see that the Mary Hard at R sign from all that info in that article, these Edomites are beginning to see that there's no bright future for them or their children, especially these Edomites in these rural areas. Their jobs are being automated or outsourced out of the country. All these social safety net programs they had in the past are quickly disappearing. The middle class is shrinking more and more with each passing day until it's non-existent. The list goes on and on. Verse eight, the mirth of Tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth, a lot of these Edomites are beginning to live paycheck to paycheck. They're not able to live luxuriously like they used to. They're starting to feel what Jake's been going through for the longest time. And also a lot of these Edomites are living in their cars now. Verse 9, they shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. As we saw in that article, a lot of these Edomites are drinking themselves to death, getting addicted to all these different types of drugs and committing suicide. They're trying to uh, drown out the bitterness of their reality. Verse 10, the city of confusion is broken down and the United States of America, again, is biblically known as Babylon the Great. And when you go to that word Babylon in the Hebrew, it means confusion. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. The grinding or working is ceasing. All the windows are being shut. As I just said, a lot of these Edomites' jobs are being automated or uh, outsourced out of the country, which is leading them to uh, become addicted to these drugs, drink themselves to death, and commit suicide. It's all a vicious circle. Verse 11, there is crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone because Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai is passing this cup unto you Edomites. He's beginning to visit your iniquity and discover your sins, that main sin being uh, afflicting the apple of his eye, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 12. Woe or destruction to him that buildeth the town with blood and establisheth the city by iniquity. And this society that you Edomites have was built off the blood, sweat, and tears of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The White House was literally built by so-called Negroes, and yet you still don't give Jake credit for anything. You still call uh, Jake niggers, spicks, and tantos, and shoot him down like a dog in the streets. You give him poisonous food and water, as well as put Planned Parenthood in his neighborhoods. But you know what Esau? It's all all right, because... Um, we know that our salvation is nearer than when we believed. We know that you're going out of power and that once you're taken out of power, you're going to go into a thousand years of hardcore bondage and slavery under our subjection. And it's going to be a very rigorous slavery for you Edomites. I'm going to close it out with Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12 through 14. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah, the southern kingdom, the so-called uh, Negroes or African-Americans, as well as the Negroes in the West Indies, by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them from slavery, through reconstruction, through Jim Crow and segregation, all the way up until today, you've had that perpetual hatred for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because we got the blessing and the birthright. Verse 13, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And before you Edomites go into this rigorous slavery, America is going to be hit and destroyed with 200 million nuclear missiles, as well as the laser beams from the chariot of the Most High, which people ignorantly refer to as so-called UFOs, turning it into the biblical lake of fire from sea to shining sea. Verse 14, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. And we're gonna do double unto you Edomites uh, what you did unto us, but it's going to be all in righteousness. We're not going to do anything wicked like rape your daughters, your sons, or your wives right in front of you. And after that thousand years, we're going to eradicate you from the face of the earth. And that's going to be all she wrote. So with this video, I hope you sincere Akiyam were edified. 
as you can see, we're getting closer and closer to the ending of this final wicked captivity and our salvation. So just keep strong and keep pushing this word. And as always, I'm going to say a Baba Ball, Kwam Yasharala. Till next time, Shalom.